How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Steven Spielberg's West Side Story, starring Ansel Elgort and Rachel Zegler. And normally I would start off one of these vlogs with a quick plot summary, but do I really need to do that for West Side Story? I certainly hope not. If for some reason you are not familiar with West Side Story, it's basically Romeo and Juliet, but set in New York City in the 1950s with white and Puerto Rican street gangs. And if you're not familiar with Romeo and Juliet, you must be less well-read than I am, and that is saying something. I really was not sure what to expect from this. I generally like Spielberg's work, but to my knowledge, he has never done a musical before, and... I wasn't really sure what he would be able to do with a musical as well-known as West Side Story, which already has a critically acclaimed film version from 1961. Uh, that will be, in fact, one best picture. And I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but not only was this really good, but I think it might actually be better than the original. And not just because of the lack of brown face, although that is a plus. It is nice that we have actual Latino actors playing those roles and not Natalie Wood in bad makeup. And let us never speak of that again. And I think this film generally treats the Puerto Rican characters much better. They're more well-developed this time around, especially Chino. I also found it interesting that there are several moments where those characters are speaking to each other in Spanish and they don't bother to include subtitles. And it actually works pretty well. Even if you don't speak the language, you can still get the gist of what's going on. They got a really good cast for this movie. Rachel Zegler as Maria. What a find. This is her first movie role, if I'm not mistaken, and she's a really good actress and a powerful singer as well. I mean, she nailed it. Ariana DeBose plays Anita in this version, and she, I believe, has some musical theater experience, and it really shows on screen here. Tony, this time around, is played by Ansel Elgort, who I've seen in other movies like Baby Driver, and I knew he could act, did not know he could sing. He's good. Spielberg did make a few changes in this version, not huge ones, but just minor things here and there. Uh, like the original, this is very much a story about racism and cultural divides, but they also put in a bit about gentrification as well. Their neighborhood is in the process of being torn down in order to make way for the Lincoln Center, which did actually happen. This was not explicitly part of the original version, although there is still a connection there because the neighborhood where they filmed the 1961 version is the neighborhood that got torn down to make way for the Lincoln Center, and in a few shots, I believe you can see some signs of that in the background because the demolition had already begun by the time they started filming. There are a couple minor changes to some characters. The anybody's character, which was more of a tomboy in the original, is now more explicitly trans in this version and is even played by a non-binary actor. And, uh... Change works pretty well, I thought. Also, Rita Moreno, the only returning actress from the original, is playing a new character named Valentina, which essentially replaces Doc from the original. In fact, in this version, Doc has since passed away and she is his widow and has inherited the drugstore. She also acts as kind of a mother figure for Tony, who in this version is an orphan. I believe in the original, he was not an orphan. His parents were around somewhere, but because reasons we never see them. And this kind of puts her in an interesting position because she is the one who now saves Anita from the attempted gang rape later on in the film instead of Doc. And she, of course, played Anita in the 1961 version, so she's saving the character she used to play. That had to have been a weird experience. Spielberg also chose to move a few scenes and musical numbers around, and I think the pacing is a bit better as a result. Uh, most of these changes were more in line with the original stage version of West Side Story. And some of the musical numbers work a bit better here, like Cool, for example, which takes place after the rumble in the 1961 version. This time it takes place before the rumble and is more Tony trying to talk some sense into Riff. And overall, I think the musical numbers are the strongest improvements that Spielberg made in this version. Uh, they were done very well in the 1961 version, but Spielberg just did a whole lot more in terms of the sets and camera angles and blocking. Especially with America, which I believe took place entirely on a rooftop in the original. And here, it's more of a montage of New York City bouncing from location to location, and I really dug it. I personally think the dancing is greatly improved, especially when it comes to the Jets and the Sharks. Uh, 
the original choreographer certainly loved his ballet. And maybe that worked better on stage, but on the big screen, it really doesn't work for the gangsters because you just cannot look intimidating while you're doing a pirouette. You can't. It's just not done. No disrespect to ballet dancers. What they do requires incredible strength and skill. I could never do it. Respect. I'm just saying, if you're coming at me with a pirouette, you are not going to look like a threat. Whereas in this version, while there is still a little bit of ballet here and there, which I think they mainly just kept as an homage to the original, the dancing is greatly improved and the gangsters actually look like gangsters. My only real gripe with this version is really the same gripe I have with every version of West Side Story. After Tony kills Bernardo, it always seemed to me like Maria forgave him a little too quickly. One minute she's angrily pounding his chest, and then the next minute he's pounding her, well, you know, uh, that's what happens. And that was one aspect of the story that just never worked for me, and I was hoping Spielberg might be able to improve on it somewhat, and he didn't. I know Tony and Maria are in love, and I know Bernardo was kind of a dick, but... no, nah, I still don't buy it. But apart from that, this was very well done. I do think it is the superior version, and I highly recommend checking it out. And I'm hoping this is not the last time we see Spielberg directing a musical, because if this is what he was capable of, he probably should have been doing this all along. And that's all I have to say about West Side Story. Till next time, take care.